Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a Goodwill Blue Box. And this Goodwill Blue Box is from Greensboro, North Carolina. And if this is your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can work something out. So I hope everyone is doing well, staying warm wherever you are. Let's go for the sky up and see what we have. And I purchased this box sometime in November. And this is the first impressions, guys. Wow. I see a lot of plastic bubbles. But let's dive in and see what we have in here. So I'm going to put this on the floor. And start to grab some things out of the box. Because I may only get through half the box because it's pretty late here right now. But um, let's see how far we can get. Okay. So, first thing out of the box here is this, whoops, things are falling all over the place. This really pretty necklace. And this looks like a native piece. Turn on my presidium. This looks like a native piece. We have these two little birds. They look like mother of pearl. And then we have these beads here, which look like it could be some sort of a shell. I'm not exactly sure. But we have this hook clasp, and this looks like liquid silver. I don't know if we can test this, see if this is sterling. It could just be like a sterling alloy, but we'll take an 18K solution here and test to see if that is sterling silver. If it turns bright blue, then it's sterling. So it doesn't look like it's turning bright blue. So I'm not sure if this is actually sterling or some type of alloy, but it's very beautiful nonetheless. Really pretty birds here. If anybody wants this, it will be $8. Very pretty. So we have that. Okay. Next we have this torque, but it's missing a pearl here. So if we find that pearl, we can put it together. But this will be going into craft if anybody wants it. That'll be a dollar. All craft items will be a dollar. Then we have this rose gold knotted bracelet, and it has a J on it. Cute. And this measures about seven and three quarters. It's got a little give. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay. okay. Let's see. What's this? These stones feel cold to the touch. Really, really pretty beads here. I don't know what these stones are, but they're a gorgeous color. They're like a pink, kind of a peachy color. And some of these are gray. Very beautiful. And we have a look, we have a little heart here, a little heart charm. Silver tone. Very pretty. 
Um, let's test these stones and see if they register as anything. Let's bring the Presidium in here and see. So these are registering as a tourmaline in the garnet tourmaline iolite. So I'm wondering if these are some, I don't think these are tourmaline though. Maybe they are. We have this necklace and it's very beautiful. And this is silver tone. This measures in at, let's get a measurement for you guys. This one measures in at 20 inches around the neck. So if anybody wants this, this will be $16. It's beautiful stones. You could definitely make some earrings or a bracelet even if you weren't so happy about the necklace. Those are gorgeous stones. Okay, next we have this Druzy Quartz, I believe. Let's see if this is a quartz. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, for some reason, this is registering. I don't think this is Tanzanite and Aqua, Chrysoface Emerald Nephrite. Don't know, my Presidium just does not want to behave. Yeah, I think this is a quartz. Sort of a light orange, and then we have this fringe here. And then we have these long beads. So these sort of look like a tiger's eye, I'm not sure. These are registering as a chrysoface emerald and nephrite as well. Really pretty. It's really long, so it starts up here, and then it's a continuous necklace with this fringe, tassel, and this druzy quartz. So let's take a measurement on this one. It measures in at 40 inches around the neck, wearable length. Very beautiful. We have that. Let's see what else we can get out of here. Okay. okay, so we have this plastic necklace, really pretty colors. Love these beads here, these green beads, and they have like little flecks inside. Really pretty. And pretty colors. This measures. Let's see. This measures in at. 16 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. It's really pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be $3. Okay. Uh -oh. There are some chunky chains in here. That is for sure. Let's see if we can get this untangled. 
I think this box doesn't have a lot of bits and baubles. It seems like it has really large pieces. So I might be able to get through this box rather quickly. We'll see. And I might need to cut this video short because it's kind of late over here while I'm filming this. Okay, so this necklace is interesting. We have some bonus here, here. So let's take that out if we can. Okay, can't seem to get all of the hair out. Okay, so we have this mesh chain here, double chain, lobster clasp, and then this rather dramatic tear faceted teardrop acrylic beads here. And two layers of that. So that is quite interesting. Really dramatic necklace. Um, these acrylic beads. Could use a good wipe down. But they look to be in good condition. This one measures in at 22 inches around the neck. It's rather a dramatic necklace. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Okay, next we have a ribbon choker. Pretty lilac color. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. These cluster necklaces are always troublesome. They always give me trouble. That's okay, guys. Take our time and we untangle it. Let's see if I can do this in one sitting without speeding it up and boring you. Okay, here we go. Rather dramatic necklace. It's really pretty, up, but it could use a good wipe down. Let's see. Sort of like in a bib style. This measures about 16 inches with a three inch extender. This is really beautiful. If anybody wants this, this will be $5. It's pretty. I would just wipe this down. Okay. Next we have a Okay, I think this is a bracelet. It's got three chains. And then we've got these little dangles with hearts, beads, flowers. Here. Um, I think a charm may be missing here. So I think I'm going to put this into craft if anybody wants it. It will be a dollar. Okay. Okay, here's another big bobbly necklace. Okay. See if you can get this. It's like My Little Pony. Let's see if you get My Little Pony out of here. Okay. And I think we did. And she, yeah, she is a My Little Pony. It says 2015 Hasbro. Really cute. I don't know her name, but she's pretty. 
I will add her to my kids' lot if nobody wants her. But if anybody wants her, she will be $2. See what else we have up here, guys. This necklace, it has an infinity symbol. It's wire wrapped. And this is a cord bracelet. It's really cute. I don't think this is sterling. But you never know. So let's test it. Oh, it could be sterling, guys. Let's take it over here. Let's see. I'll take our 18K solution, like Kristen D says. Test it. It turns bright blue. Then we have sterling. And it is not turning bright blue. It is just staying silver. So I think this is some sort of a silver alloy of sorts. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay. It's a lot of children's jewelry here. So this might be there might be a lot of things here for kids. I might add this to my kids a lot. Okay, so we have this necklace, which has a little camera, and then it says selfie. That's cute. Um, definitely for children, I think. So we have that. So selfie, and it has the cord here, the pink cord. It's a little worn, but it's still cute. And let's take a quick measurement of this. The shortest chain is 14 inches around the neck. So if anybody wants this, which it's very cute, by the way, let's do $2 on that. I think we have another selfie here. We have two of these guys. Let's see if we can get this out. Let's have a bicycle in here. Okay. All right, so we have this bangle. Oops, what's that? Okay, so we have this bangle and it it's acrylic, rose gold, pretty color. This one measures around seven and a half inches. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay, and we have another one of those selfie camera necklaces. There looks like a knot here. Maybe somebody tied it to make it shorter. I'm not sure. Do you guys take selfies? <laughs> um, yeah, but the cord looks a little bit worn again. Definitely this one in particular has some yellow stuff there. So this one will be a dollar if anybody wants it. It'll go into craft. Then we have this bicycle. And it looks like it's copper and it's um, got this black patina on it. Really interesting. Cute chain here. I mean cute bicycle. I've got this Lobster clasp. Could use a good wipe down. 
um, it has some verdigris on it on the chain. But this is a really cute bicycle pendant. But if anybody wants this, I don't know if I will clean it. I may. Um, I could see if the verdigree comes out, but if anybody wants this, this will be $2 in craft. A dollar in craft. Why not? Then we have this heart pendant. This one says something. It says, I don't know if it says Diadine, Diadine 925 Italy. So I can zoom you in here. So I think it says Diadine 925 Italy. And 925 on the clasp there. And we have this heart charm. Zoom it back out. This is very pretty. Let's test it and see if it is indeed sterling. Okay, Let's test the clasp. I definitely think this could be sterling, which is great because the rest of the box was not that great. And that is bright blue, so that is definitely sterling. Oops. So that is good. Let's take a measurement on this. Beautiful 925 Italy heart chain. It's beautiful. Let's see. This one measures 16 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. That is beautiful. I love that. Cute. Okay, we have that. So that's a nice find. What else do we have in here? Okay, that's going to take me a little bit. So what's this, guys? This is gorgeous. This feels like dyed halite. And, okay, this does not have a mark. It's gold tone. There's a little bit of wear on the gold tone on these bead caps. And then we have a lobster clasp here. It's very beautiful. I love the bead caps on here. Gold tone. And then we have these really stunning beads that are encrusted with rhinestones. Really beautiful. It's really pretty. You can see. It's quite dramatic. Beautiful. Um, let's get a measurement on this. I think some of the beads here I don't know if they are silver tone, but some of them look like gold plating has come off, perhaps. But it's still beautiful. Let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures about 20 inches around the neck with a 2 inch extender. It's beautiful. And if anybody wants this, this will be. Ten dollars. Okay, next we have this starfish. Starfish necklace. Silver tone, he's got this pinkish coral enameling. Silver tone chain. He is not marked. It's the top of the chain and it goes down to here. So let's get a measurement on this chain. This one measures 
about 26 inches around the neck with a 3 inch extender. It's really pretty. So we have that. Okay. I think I'll just finish up with this batch. If I can untangle this and then I will do the rest in part two. Okay, let's see. Okay guys, so I've untangled the pieces in the last bunch. So we have this necklace here, it's silver tone, lobster clasp, and it has these silver tone links, textured. And it is a pretty necklace. Let's get a measurement on this guy. One measures in at 30 inches around the neck. And it could use a good wipe down, but it's pretty good for layering. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. Next, we have this pretty chain. This one's unmarked lobster clasp. And it has this really nice chain here, these little balls in between. And then we have this lovely pavade rhinestone necklace. So this is the top of it and this is the bottom bit, very long. And it's silver tone. So we'll measure this. This measures 32 inches around the neck, wearable length, with a three inch extender. And this little pave disc is about one and a quarter inches. So that's very pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be five dollars. Four dollars. Next we have this, and it's a... I don't think this is anything, but let's test. It's glass. So we have this glass gem inside, stone, and then it's caged. This is sort of a rose gold chain. It's cute. Let's get a measurement on this. This measures approximately eight and a half inches. So that's 17 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. Really cute. If anybody wants that, that'll be $2. Okay guys. Next we have this bobbly number, and it's got these pink baubles, and it's multi, a multi-chain necklace, uh, ne necklace. <laughs> and it's sort of got a Chanel vibe to it, don't you think? And these pearls are pink, faux pearls obviously. It's a lobster clasp. Get a measurement on this guy. This one measures 18 inches around the neck. And this is not marked. Very cute. Anybody wants this? This will be $4. Okay guys, so a few more pieces in this batch and then I'll stop. We have this beautiful shell earring. It's pretty. And we have a ring necklace, which is missing two little stones there. So we're going to put this one into craft. If anybody wants it, it'll be a dollar. And we have this guy. Really pretty design. And this is rose gold too. And it has that pretty chain with these little balls in between. And this one has a tag and it's a sugar fix. Uh, the tag itself has some wear on it. I don't know if that's some residue or... I don't know what that is. Could be verdigris. But uh, probably could be easily wiped down. So let's take a measurement on this. 
Okay. This one measures thirty four inches around with a two inch extender. So we have that guy. And if anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. And last but not least, we have this little dainty necklace. This is a, I don't know if this is a choker. It's rather small. Let's take a measurement of it. This measures 12 inches. So I think it has a choker, it is a 12 inch neck, plus a three inch extender. Really dainty. So we have that, and if anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay, guys, so that was all she wrote for this episode. And stay tuned for part two of this good little blue box from North Carolina to see if there's any goodies in here. Um, I liked that sterling silver heart necklace. I think that was a really beautiful piece. But we have this much more to go, and it's sort of, I don't know. I'm not sure what's in here, but I'm hopeful, so we shall see. We'll find out next time, guys. So tell me what your favorite piece was in this box. If you had any, please like, comment, subscribe. And most of all, guys... Be well.